Hello and welcome to another episode of Watch Story Examination. I'm Winston and I've never been a member of the Watch Story Society. I have been examining the doctrines, policies and practices of the organization since 2014. The new light in the topic of this video, I admit, is clickbait. But it is also true, but from my angle. I'm seeing a new light on this organization. Over the years, we've looked at a number of doctrines they teach and demonstrated how they do not correspond with the scriptures. Examples are their core teaching of 1914, the appointment of the faithful and discreet slave in 1919, the idea of Christ's invisible presence since 1914, the teaching of only 144,000 going to heaven to rule over people left on earth after the second coming, the insane notion that people will be resurrected who never got a chance to know about Jehovah, who will be given a second chance and taught by Watchtower's witnesses, their shunning policy the doctrine of the anointed, and why more than 99% of witnesses do not qualify to partake of the memorial emblems, etc. All these doctrines have been thoroughly destroyed using the Bible and the Watchtower's own confusing, contradictory words. On top of that, they have spent a considerable amount of time lying about their history trying as best they can, or should I say, the worst way possible, to sanitize the stench that emanates from it. They also use ridiculous excuses to cover up their errors of the past and the new doctrines that they introduce under the caption, Beliefs Clarified. They are very clever with words. The exposure of the Watchtower, certainly not just by me alone, but by Many persons, for example, a fellow Christian and non-Jehovah's Witness like myself, Jason Zelda, and by an army of former witnesses who are taking to YouTube to remove the veil this organization has placed over itself for over 100 years, and it is having a significant effect on the organization, including lots of witnesses leaving outright, becoming inactive, or becoming what is called in the community PIMO, which means physically in, mentally out. On account of the devastating dangers of their shunning policy, these PIMO members stay in to keep their families together, waiting for just the right moment to officially leave. In order to stave off the effects that the information is having on witnesses, the governing body of the organization has launched a campaign of its own telling the members do not listen to apostates. But now I am also observing a pattern that suggests that the organization is employing another strategy, which is to transform itself to look more like the very thing it has chastised over the years, mainstream Christian churches. I started my Christian journey as a child at a kingdom hall for a few weeks before attending the Baptist Church and then joining the Seventh-day Adventist Church immediately after high school. And I can tell you that the Watchtower is now looking a lot like the Baptist Church I grew up in, or like what some call evangelical Christianity. These churches do not get into biblical prophecy and avoid controversial subjects and just preach the basic doctrines of the Bible. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let's go to jw.org and look at the topics being covered from September 2022 to the latest publications ready for 2023. As we go through the topics of the weekly studies, please look out to see if you see any that is touching the unique doctrines I mentioned above or how many that they have been taken to task about online. Embarrassed? exposed. So here we are at jw.org. We go to library, click on magazines. We're going to begin with 2022 and we choose the 
Watchtower Study Edition and search. And we're going to begin with September. We we'll click on the list the MP3 options to see the topic. So let's go. All right, so in September, you can trust your brothers. Prove yourself trustworthy. Is your name in the book of life? Bringing the many to righteousness. Questions from readers. And then, I have enjoyed learning and teaching about Jehovah. So that's September. October. Nineteen twenty two, one hundred years ago, so they probably will lie about their past in this one. Uh, you can find true happiness. Happy are those who keep integrity to Jehovah. Maybe that will tell Jehovah's Witnesses not to listen to apostates. True wisdom is crying aloud. Keep your Christian hope strong. The ancient Israelites fought wars. Why didn't we? So you hear about Christian neutrality in this one. Uh, let's now see what November has to offer. How Jehovah helps us to carry out our ministry. How Jehovah helps us to endure with joy. Let nothing separate you from Jehovah. Keep your senses when your loyalty is tested. I wanted to work for Jehovah. Did you know? And then comes December. We can live forever. You'll be with me in paradise. This one probably will touch on their doctrine about paradise earth. Questions from readers. Do you remember? Find peace during a crisis. Help others endure difficult times. And are you ready to inherit the earth? Once again, they may touch on paradise earth in this one. So that's it for between September to December of 2022, the last four months. All right. Not much on their core doctrines. Nothing about prophecy. Seeking to steer, it looks away from the controversial subjects that is causing them embarrassment and an exodus of sorts. So now let's look at 2023. Same thing, the Watch Our Study Edition. And you can see that for 2023, they have magazines up to April ready. So we will take it from January. Be convinced that God's word is truth. Be transformed by making your mind over. Jehovah is helping you to succeed. Jehovah blesses our efforts to observe the memorial. We love the Christ. Sorry, the love. The love of the Christ. I suppose that should have been the love of Christ has compelled us and then there's a study tip. So that's it for January. Maybe in this subject about, where is it? Bless, Jehovah bless our efforts to observe memorial. Maybe in that one they will touch on the anointed. We will see. All right, uh, we're just running through. So let's go to February. What the Bible teaches about its author. Get more out of your Bible reading. Keep your senses. Be watchful. Cherish God's gift of life. I have seen faithful ones strive. They saw love in action. Website tip. March. Why we get baptized? Baptism. How to get ready? Questions from readers. Learn more about Jehovah through his creation. 
use creation to teach your children about Jehovah. I mean, what's the big difference between learn more about? It seems to be the same thing here. By this, all will know that you are my disciples, that you love one another. Study tip. That's March. Now let's see April. What we can learn from the miracles of Jesus. Your brother will rise. Jehovah will help you deal with life's uncertainties. Encourage one another at congregation meetings. How can we strengthen our faith in Jehovah's promise of a new world? That's it. So there you have it, folks. Over a period of eight months or two-thirds of a year, the organization is backing away from those doctrines that have firmly set them up as a false religion to now focus on things less controversial to look far more like mainstream churches. I have observed it. Have you? I wonder if the members have observed it and if they are missing or are likely to miss the old watchtower in the coming months. Or will they also breathe a sigh of relief because over the coming months, there could possibly be a toning down of the criticisms of the organization insofar as the criticisms relate to their latest publications, be it magazines or videos. It would appear that the heat is getting to the governing body and that they are doing their best to get from under the heat as far as possible. After all, they need to keep this organization alive and it is at risk with more and more persons coming out to expose them. I had been wanting to do a video entitled How the Governing Body Can Save the Watchtower. My intention was to point out that the organization does have a few strengths, a few positives. They can save the organization by simply teaching what the Bible teaches and avoid the wacky doctrines they teach. They should also get over themselves about members leaving and accept it as a normal thing in religion and get rid of the disastrous shunning policy is not biblical and it is by its very nature a doctrine of a cult. Another huge thing they need to shelve is a two-witness rule and how they deal with the matter of CSA, which is short for child sexual abuse. Speaking of which, they also need to get back to what Jesus taught in Matthew, Matthew chapter 18 about how to handle disciplinary matters in the church and to be rid of the ridiculous judicial committee with its man-made rules totally going against what Jesus taught. If they could do that, then they can take the heat of themselves and finally become a Christian religion that is palatable. Could it be that they are getting the message? Could it be that they are in transition? Only time will tell. I took a look a glance at the January 2023 Watchtower broadcast and saw they are showing their annual meeting for 2022. I must say, ladies and gentlemen, that the Sophia and Caleb video they began with was a pleasant surprise for me. It was actually nice to watch with, a little, with little to fault them on, but little becomes much. I will be commenting on that in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Consider becoming a monthly Patreon to support my work or by making a donation via PayPal. Links on the screen and in the description below. Until the next video, please take care of number one, never taking your health for granted. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.